That intro is fire. I hope you're enjoying it. How are you all doing? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, host Jan. I do hope you're all doing well in these troubling times. Staying safe, washing your hands and being responsible. That's important. But welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I'll mainly be talking about transfers and players being linked to Chelsea and expressing and offering my opinion on those situations and stories. But I'll also be talking about Willian's recent heartwarming comments regarding Chelsea and concluding this Premier League campaign. Nice scenes there indeed. So some good interesting updates to get through today but let's tell you for a moment about my sponsor OneFootball. You're in lockdown, you're sitting at home, you're gagging for football news, anything you can get your hands on, get the OneFootball app, it will offer you everything you need to know about Chelsea, world football, football news, stats, fixtures, media, all that kind of gear results when football starts up yet again it's really clean concise and very usable i use it on my phone all the time but you, you can use it on your phone but check out the link in the top of the description to go visit one football it's dope all right then should we get on with it let's let's get on with it let's start with Willian's comments he was questioned about what's going to go on with him at chelsea football club because obviously his contract expires soon chelsea might have to try and conclude the season past said date and this by the way also counts for the likes of Pedro and Giroud as well but when Willian was asked this question he said this I think so my contract really ends I think in July regarding about when his contract ends and if I had to play on those dates in these months I think it would be no problem for me to the end of the league a way which be loyal to my club as they always were with me regardless of a signed paper patriotic words there from Willian to be honest, people give him stick, right? But to be fair, he could be like, oh, I don't know, we'll have to see what happens. It's a difficult situation. I hope everyone's going to be okay. Do you know what I mean? He could have said something like that, but he's categorically said, look, if it ends, it ends. I've been with Chelsea for a long time. I'm not going to stitch him up. I will stay and complete this season we have started. I imagine he'll still have to get paid, obviously, for like, you know, per week or whatever. But that's nice, you know, he's... Uh, He's past the prime of his career. You'd think he'd want to get moving on as quick as possible But he's saying no, you know what? Let's finish this. Let's finish this. I don't know. He, obviously, he wouldn't say that He's more like of a passive shy guy, isn't he? He'd be more like, I don't know, let's finish this Made him sound Mexican Anyway, that's nice from Willian. Let's move on to some transfer news and stories. Next up, Aubameyang to Chelsea <laughs> I love because I don't really see this happening. I do get why Aubameyang might want to move on from Arsenal. No disrespect to Arsenal. I'm not really in the business of taking the mick out of rivals. Maybe if we beat them, but not otherwise too much of the time anyway. Arsenal aren't doing great at the moment. You don't understand why Aubameyang potentially won't want to re-sign, even if he has an affinity with the club and the fans. He's obviously the captain. He's their best player. He probably does want to stay, but he probably also has ambitions to win things. And you could argue Chelsea are only in a little bit of a better position at the moment than Arsenal. But with his contract ending in 2021, the Gunners do not want another Aaron Ramsey repeat, who is actually an excellent player worth a lot of money who walks away on a free. And you'd understand in this current financial climate where they're not necessarily securing any type of European football, they need to capitalise financially wherever they can, especially when all clubs are going to be hit financially by this current situation around world football. So they might s sell Aubameyang. The rags are reporting that both Chelsea Football Club and Manchester United are interested, as well as, of course, I imagine clubs abroad. Aubameyang always wanted to play at a big club. I was going to say Real Madrid, but I think that was Lewandowski, wasn't it? I get him confused sometimes. Lewandowski was basically twerking for Real Madrid for such a long time. To be honest, they're probably idiots for not buying him when he really, really wanted to play for them. Anyway, I digress. Aubameyang. So, yeah, he's 30 years old. He's not getting any younger. He's obviously, let's say, reliant on his pace because he's a good all-round striker, but that was his, like, super weapon, wasn't it? Aubameyang running in behind and just basically splitting defenders and scoring goals. I kind of get it if he wants to get like a four-year deal at a top club or something. You know, obviously, <laughs> he wants to go. If he, this whole Chelsea link makes me laugh because he's over 30. He'll be like, yeah, come here, sign for 12 months. Do you know what I mean? Even if they do the exception and we give him two years, of course he's going to try and sign a free four-year deal elsewhere. Man United will probably give him more. 
But then again, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Frank Lampard, they want young players. They don't want 30 year old strikers. There's no disrespect to Obama Young, but he's just getting on a bit. Anyway, I think it's a bit of a nothing story, but I would be really interesting. Interesting? I would be really interested to see where Pierre Emerick Obama Young lands if indeed he does leave Arsenal this summer. Next up, let's do a quick update on Leon's Moussa Dembele, the number nine who Chelsea and Frank Lampard have expressed interests in buying this summer. Chelsea did make a bid for Dembele in January for I think approximately 36 million pounds, around 40 million euros they bid. And uh, Leon absolutely just waved Chelsea away. At first, we all speculated because they didn't want to sell in January, they wanted to finish a campaign where he was scoring and doing well. But it's kind of surfaced lately that they wanted a lot more money. Some of you said 80 million euros, which is absolute madness. They probably look at Chelsea FC and think, wow, you're buying Kepa Aretha Balaga for 72 million. Dembele's been scoring goals for a long time. Uh, you know, English football, French football, Scottish football. Goals uh, cost money, dude, 80 million. Apparently they do want to sell and they're keen to get Chelsea to buy the player just to make a profit, probably because all clubs are going mental financially with what's going on with the leagues stopping. So they're probably willing to drop their price and they probably really still want Chelsea to buy the player. But to be honest, man, if they want anywhere near that amount, they're gonna have to keep walking, in my opinion. I think he would be a good player for Chelsea to buy in terms of, I've said this before on the channel, so you know, excuse me for repeating myself, but in terms of his level of player, his player profile, he should dovetail with Tammy Abraham really well, where they can just challenge each other rather than Chelsea signing a superstar and just replacing Tammy Abraham and making him feel underappreciated or whatever. Do you see what I mean? But it'd have to be no more than 50 million, I think, because Chelsea just spends so much on strikers. Granted, like, it might be less risky than Alvaro Morata because of how much football he's actually played, Moussa Dembele. But still, any more than 50 million, and I'm out. Right, let's finish on Lautaro Martinez, a young, hotshot, 22-year-old Argentinian centre forward playing for Antonio Conte's Inter Milan in Syria, in Italy at the moment. Scores a few goals. He's not like a goal machine, but he's more of a really, really highly rated footballer. Messi's come out recently, talked about how much he loves the player. I think Barcelona want him. I think Messi probably wants him at Barcelona. And of course, the two Premier League striker searching teams in Manchester United and Chelsea Football Club are both interested in the player. Now, like I've said this before on the channel, I'll go through this again. Why would Conte want to sell his best? Well, I don't know, he probably prefers Lukaku, maybe? I think he might re prefer Lukaku just because it's in the mold of a Conte striker, maybe. Point being, Lotaro is worth loads of money. He's really, really effective in Conte's team. The only reason why I think, personally, Conte would be okay with, well, he would never be okay with selling him, he'd accept selling him, is because they spent so much money on Antonio Conte's team in turn both last summer and indeed in January, Kristen Eriksen, Victor Moses, Ashley Young, there's more as well. They keep buying players in the summer, they broke their transfer record for him a bunch of times. So financial fair play for this team has got to be a bit dodgy. So they're probably like, yeah, look, you can try and win the Scudetto this season with all these players, but we need to sell in the summer to balance the book, so do it now. Do you know what I mean? I'm speculating, this is not news, this is me like theorizing. So with that, they might be like, my, you know, Lotaro Martinez, he is a buyout clause for £100 million. Pounds. We have to sell him in the summer. And maybe Conte just has to swallow that. That's the only way in my head I can see, you know, him being okay with selling, like, this massive asset when he's trying to be the best, biggest and best team in Italy. Do you see what I mean? But I want to give you my opinion. Do I think Lotaro Martinez is worth £100 million? Probably not. I can understand why his value would be more than you'd perceive in terms of his amounts of goals because he's just, um, he's not just like a poacher, do you know what I mean? He's a, he's a silky, excellent player. So I kind of get it, he out of the two of him and Lukaku, Lukaku might grab a few more goals, but Lautaro is definitely the more silky, elegant player. Um, and I can see why a lot of people will rate him, but a hundred million, man. And again, did, would I want him at Chelsea? Is he gonna suit Chelsea? He's one of those players that if he did came, you'd be like, Massive name, highly rated player in Europe, this is exciting. But it's not like, oh, he's 100% going to be a success 
um, because you know he's not like like I said he's not a goal machine and you just don't know if he's going to be a success in the Premier League and if he fails it's going to be oh your club paid a hundred million pounds on a player who can't play well in the Premier League so there's risks there's always risks to be honest like I've spoken about loads of strikers over the summer well over the winter window uh, on this channel and there's like loads of better options I think and maybe if the price is a lot lot lower maybe half of that Moussa Dembele could be one of those options he scored the similar amount of goals in the league I think I just, do you see what I'm saying? I just don't know. Do you know? Because I'm keen on getting your thoughts and opinions on all the players I've spoken about in this video. Lautaro Martinez, 100 million pound buyout clause. How do you feel about that? If, if Chelsea could tempt him, would you take him for that money? Seems pretty mental for me. Remember, Chelsea can't get team over and as things stand. So do you go for Lautaro at that money? Seems kind of crazy. Also, how do you feel about Willian's comments? I think that's a really positive message from him. Aubameyang, talk about all the other stuff I've said in the video. Get down in the comments and express yourself. And if you've enjoyed the content I've provided you today, please do like the video. Can you hear that? So they've started roadworks right outside my apartment. Yep, so I'll end the video. Enjoy the football and I'll see you later. <laughs> You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby